Hi, this is Les Walkling, and welcome to my short video presentation on the calibration of ASO Color Edge monitors with ASO Color Navigator software. To create a custom calibration, we first select the Create New Target button, and then select the Enter Manually button so that we can stipulate the parameters we wish to calibrate our screen to. In this case, we're going to calibrate our screen to the international standard ISO 3664, which covers the viewing conditions for graphic technology and photography. We select Monitor Native Gamut to ensure the widest range of colours. Alternatively, we could select to emulate a different monitor or profile, an iPad or maybe a MacBook Pro. But in this case, I want the largest colour gamut for general photographic editing, which is what the native monitor gamut setting will provide. Clicking the Next button takes us to the Brightness and White Point settings, where the default 80 candelas per meter squared provides a screen brightness roughly commensurate with 400 lux of ambient illumination. 400 lux is approximately halfway between the archival 50 lux on the National Gallery's walls and 3000 or so lux of diffused mid-morning window light streaming into my studio. In other words, it is an average of the wide range of viewing conditions we are likely to work in. Calibrating our monitor to 80 candelas per meter squared therefore ensures our screen will resemble the look and appearance of an actual photograph. We are also going to select an ISO 3664 white point of D65 roughly 6,500 degrees Kelvin, because across a diverse range of different viewing environments, 6,500 degrees Kelvin appears to most people to be a neutral white point. That is, neither warm nor cool, but neutral in its rendering. And this is exactly what we want when carefully judging the colour and tonal balance of our photographic images on screen. Clicking the Next button allows us to set our black level, which we're going to set to 0.4 candelas per metre squared. Setting our black level also establishes our screen's contrast ratio. In this case, 80 candelas divided by 0.4 candelas equals a contrast ratio of 200 to 1, which is an ideal place to start when working on photographic images, because the density range of beautiful photographic prints on semi-gloss or luster surface papers is around 200 to 1. In a more advanced calibration, we might select a different black level to more accurately represent that different condition. Clicking the Next button allows us to stipulate the tonal curve running between our black and white points, and selecting a gamma of 2.2 will render middle grey, that is 18% grey, as approximately 127 levels in an 8-bit scale. And where else should middle grey be but in the middle of our tonal scale? Also, a gamma of 2.2 for our red, green and blue channels assigns roughly the same bit depth to our shadows as to our highlights. We can also assign the calibration's priority, where grey balance ensures that mid-tones and highlights are as neutral as can be, while the contrast priority ensures our contrast ratio of 200 to 1 will be rendered as accurately as possible. Contrast also provides the largest range of post-calibration options for manually fine-tuning the calibration to better suit different output conditions. But in this case, I'll select standard priority to achieve a good balance between neutrality and the 200 to 1 contrast ratio. Clicking on the Next button allows us to name the target, and with the Start Adjustment button also selected, clicking on Finish allows us to select our measuring instrument, in this case a basic colour discus colorimeter, and then proceed with the calibration. From here we simply follow the on-screen instructions, such as initialising our instrument, followed by ASO's Color Navigator software adjusting the hardware settings of our monitor according to our target settings. I'll just cancel this procedure for now so that I can return to Color Navigator's startup screen where we can see the results of the calibration by clicking on the Detail button. We asked for a white level of 80 candelas and ended up with 79.9. We asked for a black level of 0.4 candelas and ended up with 0.38, which provides a contrast ratio of 209 to 1. We asked for 6,500 degrees Kelvin and ended up with 6,517 degrees Kelvin, which is a superb result. I hope in some small way that this short presentation has helped you understand how to create a basic ISO 3664 compliant calibration of our ASO Color Edge monitors using ASO's Color Navigator calibration software. These settings, 6500 degrees Kelvin, gamma 2.2, a white level of 80 candelas per meter squared, and contrast ratio of 200 to 1, are an ideal initial calibration for the accurate editing of our photographic images on screen. 
I also have a companion video on advanced soft proofing with ASO Color Edge monitors that demonstrates the full range of Color Navigator's calibration options that allows us to achieve an extremely accurate match between our monitor's appearance and our photographic prints. Thank you for listening, and I wish you all the best with your adventures in photography.